Hello again YouTube, my name is Brie and in today's video we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour. So in my prior sketchbook tour video, um, I also did a Mossery sketchbook. That particular sketchbook was the first sketchbook um, for watercolors that I had completed. This one is going to be the most recent one I've completed, so you should see a jump in skill level, hopefully. Um, this one, like the prior one, is also the watercolor paper, not the mixed media paper, um, but also not the cotton watercolor paper. This is just the cellulose paper. And this cover is the um, Mayoko cover with the cats. I mean, you could see that, but I'm just gonna point out the obvious. Um, in the pocket, I just have some like little sketches I had done that I later traced into here. I think those are digital. They're definitely digital. <laughs> Um, personal information. I did not fill out the goals this time, but I did um, start <laughs> here with some content. So you could see I started this July 2019 and this is not the end. I stopped recording. So yeah, um, good. make sure that's all nicely adjusted. Um, so before I go on, um, I just want to point out that the reason why I'm doing a sketchbook tour instead of a painting today is just because I am a little run down. I did get my COVID vaccine, the first one, a couple days ago, and I was sick. Um, I am recovering from it. I just had some side effects. So if I start to like really get off on tangents or just sound really worn out, that's all it is. Um, I'll be fine in no time. So yeah, this first one is actually a Draw This In Your Style for Jacqueline De Leon. Um, she did this little skater girl. She still does a bunch of skater, roller, roller skater girls. And yeah, I think at this point I was still using a combination of watercolor and colored pencil. And I think I moved away from that. Well, I know I moved away from that later in the sketchbook. I don't remember all that's in here, but we'll figure it out as we go. Um, this was also a draw that actually both of these were draw this in your style. And yeah, if you were here for the prior sketchbook tour, um, I started doing both sides of the paper and I actually grew to kind of hate it. And I'll get into that a little bit later, but yeah, so this, um, was, I did not study ahead for this, but Hey, I have some notes. Um, Tricky Wagon, I believe. Yeah, Tricky Wagon, draw this in your style. And this was Pat Roxas. Um, this also has the gold leaf. Uh, this was an Art Snacks challenge. Um, I got an Art Snacks box because they were featuring Daniel Smith watercolors. It was the Quinacridone Rose, which for that alone, that box was worth it. I'm completely obsessed with Quinacridone Rose. And I'm not going to remember for sure the yellow, and then I think it was a, a water soluble color pencil or a graphite pencil and some sort of graphic black pen. Um, so one thing you might notice right away, and this is going back to regrets I had, um, the pencil and some other items would like rub off page to page. Um, and I'm not used to that, especially with watercolor, but I guess that was probably the pencil. I don't know. It's yucky. I don't like it. Um, this little doodle was to celebrate, I, I was in a zine, um, an astrology club zine that focused on like making characters related to astrological bodies. And, um, this was just a little doodle I did to celebrate the go live of that. Um, I actually did that piece in digital and it was the last digital piece I ever did. Um, this one was me taking out my Kuretake Ganzai Tambi after not using it in a really long time. Um, I just wanted to revisit it. And yeah, I, I struggled a bit. I was enjoying it, but then I wanted to kind of go crazy and try to play with the more opaque colors. So I did the weird back to the hands thing. That That's a thing I do from time to time. And then I used some of the golden and just kind of like roughed it up a bit a bit and yeah i i don't remember why but it was fun and then um this was a draw this in your style challenge for chelsea gracie i believe and yeah this was just another really fun one i i remember really enjoying doing this one 
This is, now this is going to be weird, um, this was a self-portrait, it's not very good, and this was, I think, one of the first pieces, um, or first pages, I started to realize that when I did a lot of layers, I was having a hard time with the, especially the back side of the paper, it just wasn't holding the layers or working with the brush as well, and I had to quit earlier than planned because I was starting to, like, fight with the paper so that becomes a theme throughout this sketchbook and then this was just a dude with a uh i think jet yeah it's a jackdaw i i love corvids oh yeah okay so this was i did not write it down i think nadia rausa was running this it was um Harvest Tales, I mean, it says that part right there, where each week had a different theme. And I wanted to play with gouache because at this point, I'm f talking with my hands so much and I have no idea how much of that is actually showing up on camera. So if you're just seeing like little fingertips dancing around, it is what it is. <laughs> so I, I think I had done like that one gouache piece in that prior sketchbook that I'd forgotten about, and then I did something for Mermaid in 2018. Maybe, no, it was probably 2019, and I wanted to practice it more, so I was determined to do all four pieces in gouache, um, but one thing I did not plan for was this particular year, I was also going on a trip in early October, and I was trying to do, I planned to start Inktober, where I'd have a month leading up to my trip to get it done, and this definitely took over. But yeah, so the prompts were Flower and Herbs, Scarecrow, Night Creature, and Spirits, and these got progressively more rushed as they went. Um, so I just kind of tried to re- Pete the same character, um, and I remembered that gouache really rubbed onto the opposite page, so I did not do anything on the opposite pages here, just in case, and it got progressively more rushed and unfortunate as it went on, and I don't like those last few at all. <laughs> and then we hop into Inktober. So for Inktober, um, for 2019, I did not complete it. Um, I had done Inktober four years in a row and had been successful every year. And like I said, I had wanted to start early and have one day or one ink drawing every day leading up until my trip. And then I could post, um, each page on the correct day. But what actually ended up happening was I was doubling up and trying to create, because I started late because of the gouache paintings, I was trying to do two or three of these a day, and it didn't work. <laughs> I work full time. It did not work. I was also getting ready. I was packing. It was just chaos. So I eventually, I stopped, I think, the day before we left for our trip, and then when I came back, I just posted um, stuff from... I painted for my trip. So I started my travel journal instead. So yeah, I, I think I was going for like a different, um, Halloween themed creature or something for each day in the beginning. So I had like a witchy boy and I guess a vampire. And, um, for all of these, I was using a Copic multiliner, um, and I think India ink and the red is my fountain pen ink, um, Diamine Oxblood, which I use a lot in my fountain pens and wanted to try in actual paintings. Um, I actually really like this spread a lot. Looking back on it, I'm very happy with that one. And then, yeah, I think this is where I just started like plowing through <laughs> trying to get it done and each page was like less detailed and less interesting to me. I don't know what I was thinking here. This is why I didn't want to share this sketchbook was this one. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, it just, it fell apart. Oh, wow. I did actually far more of these than I thought. And I'm going through this pretty quickly. So if you wanted to go back and see more, I guess you could pause. <laughs> this is such a like... I I might have to refilm this video because I'm not all 
here in my head. Okay, so I think what happened was I had was going through my art supplies looking for something, and I found my original Koi watercolors, uh, Sakura Koi watercolors, which was the first watercolor set I got. Um, yeah, that just says revisiting my watercolor set. So I had asked, I think on Instagram, if anyone was interested in me revisiting these, and people did seem interested. So I swatched them out, and immediately, yeah, I, I do like the color set as like a general... On paper, it looks nice, and I don't mean on this paper, I just mean it looks like it gives you a great variety of colors, but immediately, like, they're so chalky, I can feel them. I They were not fun to work with, and so I created this little piece with it, and it was fine for what it was. It was really interesting going back and revisiting this and remembering that, like, while I struggled and originally kind of gave up watercolors because I was so not happy using these paints that I thought I was just terrible at watercolors, going back, I think it's easier to say, yeah, you could create art with any supply when you already have the basics down. My cat's trying to break into this room. Buddy, you could push the door. She's being completely defeated by a door that's not even open or closed all the way. All she has to do is push her nose into it and she'll be into the room. Instead, she's like putting her paw under the door and hitting the wall. Okay, so yeah, that's what this was. It was just a painting with these watercolors and I don't think I used any additional supplies. And while it's fine for what it is, it was really just a massive struggle and I did not enjoy it. So yeah, and I didn't like this one. This was just a little doodle I did. Um, I don't think I'd been painting very much. I was getting frustrated with myself. And then um, the return of gouache. So this was actually the first piece I did in 2020. Um, I think I actually started this on New Year's Eve and um, just to kind of keep myself awake so I could say I saw the new year and then I finished it the next day or maybe the day after that. I don't remember. Gouache is, it's a process for me. So this was actually, both the, it was also the last gouache painting I did until I took the gouache. Wow, that is, that is on there thick. That's not good. And while like, I, there's still things I like about this. I definitely, I struggled. Like the hand, I, I like. Um, but yeah, I just kind of gave up on the shirt, and I struggled with everything. But yeah, I really need to get back to gouache. Um, this, I have a note to myself, and I kind of feel I should read it to make sure. Oh, okay. So this is, I guess this was something I was planning to film. Um, I stopped very early on. I was using gouache once again. Um, and for some reason, the paper was pilling, laying down like thick layers of gouache, which shouldn't happen. So I think this was just a bad sheet. Um, like the sketch, there's nothing here to have like caused the, to kill the paper that early on. And yeah, so I guess I was trying to film it because that's what this is about. My video had stopped filming. I couldn't figure out why. Um, so yeah, I, I I don't know what happened here with the paper, but it wasn't working out. Okay, and here's where I actually started the gouache class. So this was... Justin Donaldson did a mini landscape class, which was free. And that was a lead into a full gouache class he taught. That was, oh no, this was landscape. Sorry, I did landscapes from him and then gouache later. And um, I really, really liked this class. I Profound simplicity, the first lesson was um, just about doing block colors, no blending. And that was just a struggle because this is where I started to realize I didn't have a good concept of values. Um, I put just parchment paper in to prevent it from destroying itself and then this was um, about taking those basic blockings and turning it into gradients so just using gradients and blocked colors creating 
landscapes and it was just building into um i think the great or the mini landscape class was all black and white and then we dove into color in the full one and i really do need to revisit this class because or the full class um because i there was it started to get over my head just because i was so behind on the basic concepts and i was struggling with gouache as it was newer to me and I really do want to retake that class. But if he still has this one available as a free mini class, it was definitely worth taking. Um, let's keep this in frame. So this was the six fan art challenge on Instagram. It may have been on Twitter and other pl platforms too, but I'm only really on Instagram and YouTube. And so I just wanted to do basic ink drawings. Um, I felt that this sketchbook, being that's watercolor paper, it's a waste to do anything that's not watercolor or water media. Um, but I was just also over this sketchbook and wanting to be done with it. So yeah, I drew in the boxes. And then um, Crowley from Good Omens, Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, Sabrina from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, um, Geralt from Witcher, um, from the game, Jim Hawkins from, I think that's Treasure Planet, and Pikachu. Oh, sorry. That apology doesn't count. I was not even in the frame. So yeah, that was, um, actually more fun than I had expected, and it did really well on Instagram. So this is my most popular post and it's just little ink doodles. Um, I was just really happy with my copying the boxes down, if nothing else, but I, I had fun and I liked this one. Oh, okay. So more mini landscape class. So this is where we went from flats and then gradients and then built on that and added more detail. And I actually redid this one in a different sketchbook because I decided to take a different sketchbook that has better quality paper, um, cotton paper, and use that for the full class. And I wanted to go ahead and bring this into it. And then that's some notes from that class. Um, and then this one, I, in one of the discord communities I'm a part of, we were doing weekly sketchbook challenge prompts, I think. Um, it was just kind of, we were trying to get motivated to finish a sketchbook, and this was the sketchbook I'd wanted to finish, and this was the first image posted as a reference, and I just could not get colors to stick after this point. So I know I gave up early. I liked where I was going with this, and this is where, from the landscape course, I was really tr starting to understand where my watercolor paintings were lacking in values. I don't know how far back I have to go to get to a watercolor one now. But yeah, like I was not really paying attention to values in my paintings. And so I think what I started to do was add more and more layers. And I was really liking how I was building up the structure of the face. But then the paper just was not working with me. It accepted as much pigment as it wanted. And it was done. So I was done. But I, um, I like this one a lot. This was... This was a really challenging one. Um, this was also from that community. And we this reference shot was just something that structurally, it doesn't look like it would be that difficult, but the way the eye is blocked by the nose and the angle was quite challenging to draw. I think I spent most of the week working on this. And oh, I just had so much fun with it. Plus the lighting of the picture was very um, turquoise and um, an orange color, which isn't a color scheme I usually work with. I just had a blast with this one. And then this um, was just a little, can't tell, it's probably a crow, it might be a grackle, um, that I painted just with some leftover paint, I think, from my landscape class. And I just wanted to kind of like rough in something quick and with big, bold brush strokes because it's something I don't do. And I was getting stuck in my rut of how I normally paint versus some of the lessons I was trying to take in from my landscape class. So it was just in a different setting, going wild, going, letting the dry brushing do its thing. And I actually really like this one. And you know what? Mossery saw this on Instagram and said they wanted to share it on their page and did the little like interview question with me. And I was so happy. And then they never posted it. So 
that's sad. And yeah, this uh, last thing in the di- same Discord community, we we're talking about how people do white highlights, and I was just showing the difference between using gouache and like a jelly roll pen for the highlights. Um, as an example, I think that's just like Sharpie or a multi or fine liner. What are the bold ones called? The brush liners, something like that. So people had an example um, for if what what might work for them. And then um, at this point, I was getting really over the sketchbook and was not particularly incentivized to finish every page. So these were some swatches I had done for a friend because we were doing a paint exchange in the mail. And so I was showing her some of the colors she was interested in. And um, yeah, look, those are the genuine ones. Um, I think I've learned since I, my last video where I said Piemontite, it's Piemontite. Thanks to Denise Sodden from In Liquid Color for making me feel bad, but also correcting me. Um, Jadeite Genuine and Sodalite Genuine, those are all Daniel Smith. Um, the Carbazol Violet, I think is also Daniel Smith and Potter's Pink as well. And then this was also from that same Discord community. Um, the challenge was actually a full body piece with this dress. It was gorgeous, but I knew I was never going to finish it. And I don't think I'd done much with like the see-through fabric before. So yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, and then I also added um, some sparkles, which I'm not sure is visible throughout the headpiece and the dress itself. And then, I don't know if that's been centered. Oh, well. Um, This was a jalapeno from my garden. I had like a harvest. Just one day I went out and there were like eight or nine jalapenos that were good to go. And I took in most or a few of them and was like, I don't know what to do with all these jalapenos. And someone's like, paint them. So I painted one. And I actually tried using Moon Glow for the shadows and really liked it. Um, So there's a lot of granulation in the jalapeno, but... I think it worked. So it taught me a few things about using granulation in what's usually a flat surface. And then this one, um, once again, with the backside of the paper that doesn't seem to agree with me, um, I was just doing layers and it just kept pulling off the page instead of going on. Um, This was another one for that Discord community and I just got frustrated and gave up very early. Some people were trying to convince me to go over it with gouache or something else and I was just done. And um, so yeah, another change I made starting in the sketchbook was if something wasn't working, I wasn't going to kill myself to finish it. Before, I would like never leave a page unfinished. That had changed. And then clearly I was watching the Umbrella Academy um, season two, and I decided to try doing, I had a fairly detailed sketch for this one and I just kind of wanted to do light washes of watercolor over it without um lifting the sketch and trying to do something too detailed once again I was pretty frustrated with the paper and ready for the sketchbook to be done so those are just I think maybe two washes of watercolor over a pencil sketch and then the little I don't remember their names well I know that's five but the fishy dude I don't remember back to that discord community again and the weekly challenge something else I just I just didn't finish because I either ran out of time or decided I was emotionally done with it it's a sketchbook and I was so close and I wanted to be done with it and then we had a reference that was a skeleton but I didn't want to draw the whole skeleton because I'm lazy or I thought it would be more funny to put him in a Hawaiian shirt So yeah, I just basically sealed in the graphite on this one with a wash of watercolor and it didn't, I don't know if I was trying to put it down flat because that is not a flat wash by any stretch. And then for this one, I had actually done a video on here for that. So I finished August, 2020 and yeah, this was on YouTube. So I'm not going to go into that one. Um, too much but I just wanted to play with lots of colors in the skin and also be done with the sketchbook and then nothing in this pocket that's just the little business card it comes with and that would be it so if you made it all the way through this video thank you um I 
hope to be back in two weeks with an actual painting. I did actually have plans to get back into gouache and that clearly didn't happen. Uh, hopefully I'll have some energy next week and I could get back to that. Um, in a few weeks, uh, four weeks, I'll be getting my next COVID shot. So I'll probably do something roughly equally low key just to recover. Um, if anyone has anything they'd like to see, I do have other sketchbooks, but I don't know if I want to share them all. Um, so we'll figure something out. In the meantime, I hope you're all doing really well and taking care of yourselves, and I hope to see you in a future video. Thank you. Bye.